everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rajani today I'm gonna be doing kind of like this uh, chit chat get ready with me it's like 12 a.m. right now somewhere around there so it's not really a get ready with me but like this is the only time I can really film without any disruption so yeah, I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup. Listen, school's been like exhausting and overwhelming and all of the things. It's been kind of hard to keep up with the schedule and also think of ideas too and find time to film because I'm constantly doing schoolwork with Zoom University. I have to look some time right now, I just have to sacrifice sleep. <laughs> but. It's okay, it's cool, because I love doing this, so. I just kind of like prepped my skin. I used this in my previous video. My, was it a week in college? Like my, a week in my life. I used this oil in the week in my life video, um, and it's the Milani Green Goddess um, Cannabis Sativa seed oil yeah this is the oil that i use to kind of prep my skin i really like using it under this flower beauty supernova celestial priming whip i haven't applied this to my skin yet but i will now i'm going to start off by doing my brows Haas labs just came out with the edge precision brow pencil. The color that I'm using is brown black and so like this is a pencil. Super sleek and you have the part where the actual product comes out. I've already used it and then also you have the spoolie and what I do first is I need a mirror but what I do is I comb through my brows. I guess by doing this I kind of set the shape for what I want my brows to look like or like how I want the shape to be. When I'm finished with that I actually take the product and what I do is I start here so not quite like inward but like I start here. I draw a line under. The trick that I follow is like I line the um, the end of the applicator with um, I guess the end of my eye shape whatever I don't know the technical term for that that's how I know where to stop so I get a line going and then I go like maybe here or a little bit over but I draw a line at the top as well and I meet that bottom line. What I do is I start feathering, doing feather strokes to fill in the brow and then what I do is I go inward a little bit too at the bottom then I start flicking up. I take my spoolie again, I comb through my brow all right, so those are both of my brows. I said this would be like a chit chat video, so I'm gonna be um, like more intentional with that. Um, try to remember that because I can get lost in the steps that I do or get lost in the actual like application process of doing my makeup and I just forget that I'm supposed to be talking about um, stuff. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour, mine is kind of beat up, 16 hour camo concealer in the matte finish. Like it's really beat up. Sorry about that. I apply it to my lid. It's not crazy like that. And then I just get a brush and distribute it. But I guess I can like kind of talk about like my week I guess. I'm a college student and it's not easy. Every weekend, you know, when I'm like finally finished with work, 
and then like 12 a.m on saturday morning hits that's when like all my assignments for the next week come up and then i immediately almost like well i immediately get overwhelmed it just feels like it never ends today you know i was like i'm gonna try and take some time for myself zoom university makes me feel bad for even taking that time i have to get this done you know i have to um you know plan ahead I have to work ahead you know to not make myself stress out but then it's like where where is the time for myself like I really do need like one or two weeks to like just not do anything it's not worry about school or like you know homework nothing school related I just need two weeks for where I go to college, we only have like one wellness day. I couldn't even really enjoy that because I have like two midterms due that week. Like I couldn't really enjoy that, so I didn't really get a break at all. I'm just trying to like tell myself like don't feel guilty for taking like a day for yourself. The assignments can wait. They'll wait. Like the palette I want to use, I can't find, so it's great. I'm going to do something with purple. I have this Hoss Labs 4-Way Shadow Palette in Fantasy. I want to do something with this purple. I need to use a transition shade. I'm going to use another palette for that. But yeah, Zoom University is really exhausting kind of doesn't make sense right now but i'm just like what do i do i'm going to take this purple i'm gonna place it towards the outer part but i'm still like i'm gonna keep it a little bit lower and i'm still posting on instagram i'm gonna put this in the inner corner too it's hard especially when you're tired and i don't feel as inspired to create because I'm exhausted. <laughs> wow, that looks really good. Also trying to like adult. Things are so uncertain still. Uncertainty really scares me. <laughs> I'm kind of like, in a sense, just like leaves me stuck. Like I feel like I can't go anywhere or move forward. But I'm trying to take everything one day at a time. I'm gonna use these two shades. And what I like to do is take some on my ring finger and I'll apply it just to kind of intensify that shadow. Something like I really liked doing while in quarantine, I mean, I kind of took up a lot while in quarantine, like I really started to do makeup more, post more about it on social media. I started well, trying to post consistently on this channel. Something else is collecting vinyl records. And I love music. TikTok, I see it all the time. You know, people um, collecting vinyl records. I was like, this is so cool. Like, that's something I want to do too because, like, I just love music. And once I started collecting and, like, you know, I bought my first record player, like, hearing the music on vinyl is just something about it. Like, it just. It sounds better. It really is an experience. And you know, it's just something that makes me really happy. I can see myself doing this for like a very long time and you know, just collecting and collecting over the years. You know, just to have your favorite artist's album, you know, in your hands, like a physical copy that you can play and be able to experience the record. It gives you an opportunity to really listen to a full-length album. You know, sometimes like I can tend to skip tracks. Not that like the tracks weren't good but like you know that's just something like I tend to do and I just listen to like the ones that are like really I think like my favorites. With vinyl like it just really allows me to listen to a full-length record. I just find, end up finding some hidden gems or like, not really hidden gems, but you know, things that I would like kind of, I guess, tend to skip over, you know, 
well yesterday i bought ariana grande's thank you next i love that album that's one i've been you know really wanting and so i bought that in the, the clear pressing that's from target i was telling you know my mom just randomly yesterday like i really want prince's purple rain on vinyl like today i was in walmart and i went to their vinyl section and i found prince's purple rain on vinyl and granted i didn't like the packaging because it's like it's in one of those like um those plastic gosh what are they called <laughs> it's in plastic like this plastic um i don't know what it's called it's kind of weird when trying to store them so um yeah it was the only thing but it's a picture disc and I played it as soon as I, you know, got home and cleaned it and all that stuff and it just took me to like, it took me places, okay? Like, it's just such a great, you know, album and to have it on vinyl, to be able to experience it like that, like, I really stopped like my whole makeup application process to explain that but you know what it's worth it this is what the eyes are looking like this is very simple it's nothing extravagant or really colorful hmm. I have some similar to that Green. yeah Alright, so now I'm going to do my base routine. I thought about filming this, or I don't know if I'll keep it in there, but um, just let me know if y'all want a base routine, and I will film that. mascara this one in their bag okay it is so good my eyelashes are pretty much non-existent so this really makes them pretty long and pretty full it's perfect it's just superior like they were in their bag when they made this okay milk makeup if you ever watch this which I doubt you wait you know what i'm not gonna say it out okay you might land on this video i don't know this mascara y'all were in your bag okay if you ever um see this video want to send me you know your mascara or like i don't know put me in a campaign for this mascara i'm your girl okay hit me up what do I have to do now? Lips, that's the last thing. What I'm gonna do is use um, this brown, wow, my mind went blank. This brown liquid lipstick in Oh Boy. It's from the beauty supply store. I'm gonna take that um, lipstick. That's what it looks like from Wet n Wild. This is the finished look. I think it's uh, just an everyday look that you can throw together and it looks great. If you like this video, if you want to see more chit chat, get ready with me videos, then give this video a thumbs up. Ew, my thumbs look weird. Subscribe and share if you want to and all that jazz. Oh, also, wait been meaning to talk about these earrings. My mom sells paparazzi accessories 
and she has a site and I'll link that down below. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which I'll have all my socials linked down below, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm wearing paparazzi accessories. Yeah, check out her site. I really hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!